Taz, system test OK. Alright, good, good afternoon everybody, welcome to BW Flight Simulation. We're here at uh, San Diego, Orange County Airport, 
and uh, we're going to be loading up here, heading out to San Francisco. Should be a quick, smooth flight. A little overcast here today in Orange County. Other than that, it should be on an eventful flight. We don't have any ATC on at the moment. There is traffic inbound for 2 zero right. We've got the uh, GTN uh, loaded up, ready to go. We'll get everything started and uh, sit back, relax, enjoy the flight. Let's uh, let's head back into the cockpit. Here we go. Alright, make sure those are in. We're going to set the uh, takeoff trim. And we're going to go ahead and close the door. Door is closed. Make sure we get our beacon light on. Let everybody know we're going to be starting up. Passenger safety comes on. And we're going to go ahead and start the right. We see we've got light up, or not light up, we've got spinning of the right engine. Okay, right engine is started. We can go ahead and throw on the uh, right generator or start the left. Okay, we got two good engines started. We can put on the uh, left generator. AC power can come on. Anti-ice for all services. That can come on. We go ahead and turn on the anti-skid. The only thing we have left to do is pedostatic. We go ahead and disconnect the ground power unit. Uh, flap set for takeoff. We can go ahead and turn on the air conditioning and get this set to auto. We can turn on the windshield bleed. Uh, air conditioning can come on for the aircraft. Throw our taxi lights on. And let's start our taxi. There's no ATC, so it'll be a direct climb flight level 320. And there's short, there's traffic on short final out there. Test our thrust reversers, and we're good there. Speed brakes, good. Looks like a keen air coming in there. Yep. Or a Beach 1900.
All right, looks like that traffic is off to clear the runway. We'll go up and taxi it onto the runway. Go and put recognition anti collision lights are on. We'll get lined up on the runway. There's that King Air coming into the FBO. And let's hold it right here. Let's go ahead and sync up our heading bug. and let everybody know that we're departing. All right, we are ready. Our timbers are set. Just one last look outside to make sure we're all good. Looks good to me. Let's roll. Okay, holding the brakes, coming up to full power. Edo statics coming on. We got full power, brakes are released. Airspeed's alive. There's 80 knots. There's 100, we're looking 110, there's 110, rotate. Positive climb, gears coming up. Flap set to one, flaps up. Okay, power's coming back for the uh, Noise abatement. And yeah, we're just flying this by hand for right now. Here goes the turn. We're going to stay below 5,000 until sterile. Okay, we're straightening it back up. We'll slow climb this thing up to five. There's 3,000. Gears up and off. Slow climb here. We're holding about 180. A little off course, turning back on course. There's 4,000. Straighten it back out again. Okay, we're coming down, the, we're coming up on five. All right, I go ahead and go through the autopilot yaw damper on. We will go to nav mode, altitude, full power. We're out over the coast. that back a little bit here. Climb power is about 220. Forgot to set the heading, uh, the, the bug on the, the speed here. Okay, 
We want out or below five is zero, which we're at. Okay, we're at 220. We can go to IAS mode, full power. We can throw a squat code in here if we'd like to, just in case somebody shows up. Go to the outside outside view and we can look at the outside view. We're above the fog. We'll come back here and see we're out of uh, 9,000 now. Okay, there's four thousand. There's not one zero thousand. We'll go ahead and turn off the unnecessary lights. The recognition lights can come off. Passenger safety can come off. Uh, your landing lights can come off. We can go to fan sync on the engines. And other than that, it's a good climb, and we're climbing about oh about thirty five hundred feet a minute as we make our way towards San Francisco. Uh, we'll see, we'll just pass to the east of Santa Catalina. We won't be able to see it due to the fog. Uh, let's see what our filed uh, true air speed is. 392. We can bring up the uh, charts here for Navigraph and you can see where we're at. There we are, just out of uh, Orange County. We'll pass to the east. This is Santa Catalina right here. We'll pass to the east of it and head our way uh, northwest. I love flying this plane. It's a great plane to fly, especially if you have the GTN 750 with it. It's it's a it's a great piece of equipment. It makes the plane a lot better. I just flew the uh, CJ2 in the San Jose from Portland last night, and again using the GTN 750 on it, it's just it's a great plane. We'll wait till we get out of 18, and then I'll uh, I'll go back to the outside view here. All right, there's 18. We're going to 2992, 286 for the heading.
Alright, we'll go to outside view. We'll check out the outside views for a little bit here. As we're climbing up and out of uh, Orange County on our way to San Francisco. I'm going to step away for about a minute and I'll be right back. Alright, we're back in the flight deck. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can <coughs> Excuse me. You can see the coastline here. Uh, LAX is off to our right, which I don't think oh, we can just see it drawn in right. There's LAX airport, it's kinda covered up with the cloud cover here. But that's uh, LAX right there.
Oh, three, two, zero. Let's see what we're doing here. Fuck, I can't, uh... Sorry. Sorry for the language there. I'm trying to do some work here and I can't, uh... I can't download this picture that I need to download. Let's see here, utilities, VCALC. Eddie is going to be at 6,000. And then we need to see trip planning. We got 39 minutes left. Fuel, that's fine. Winds, okay, so we need, we can slow it down a little bit here. I'm going to go check this uh, work email. I'll be right back, guys.
Hey, Street Boss, how you doing, buddy? Hope all is well, my friend. Sorry about that. I was over on my compu other computer doing some work really quick while I'm flying here. Oh, I got some traffic out the window. Anything that we'll be able to see? Probably not. He's kind of a ways away from me. I won't be able to see him. And I actually need to call San Francisco Customs really quick. So I'll be muted for a minute, really. I just gotta try to get everything set for an aircraft that's going to Grand Cayman tomorrow. Let me give them a call really quick and I'll be right back. I'll be on mute just for a minute here. Alright, sorry about that. I'm here. I'm having. Uh, San Francisco Customs is having fax issues here, so I'm trying to get my fax, my home fax set up here. And I have um, Xfinity uh, for my phone service, and I've got it set up to where telemarketers call. I know it r right away because it'll only ring once. Or if it's something else that has to do with advertisement or something like that, it'll ring three times. So we we'll, we really don't use our house phone very much. So I just need to go in there and disable that so when they send the fax over, it'll come through.
Alright, so let's see. I need to turn this off. Xfinity. I need to log in. Okay, dashboard, my phone's protected. I need to disable it for right now. So I need to go to voice tab, settings, see voice tab click settings icon on the right click advanced call forwarding there we go and we're going to disable these and then when they call it should go through we'll see what happens because I need, uh, what I'm waiting for is a general declaration uh, form to come back that has crew information on it and passenger information. I've got a Citation 10 that's flying out of Oakland tomorrow going to Grand Cayman Islands. So I need that to be faxed back to me just so the crew knows that they're okay to leave tomorrow. Alright, let's see where we are here. We're coming up here to San Luis Obispo. Uh, I'm going to see how my 395 true is correct. That's good. We're about 13 minutes from top of descent. Um, let's pull the map up. You can see where we are here, San Luis Obispo Airport. We're going into San Francisco, so we can pull up the San Francisco chart. We're on the surfer arrival in the San Fran. So we will get the star for the surfer. Gnarly is at uh, flight level 200, waves between 15 and 19, epic between 10 and 5, gnarl between 8, and then uh, Eddie at uh, 6, and that's why I have planned in the uh, GTN 750 to be at Eddie at 6. So a cool thing we can do is if we, we can overlay this on the chart, and as we come up, we'll be able to see us. Uh, we'll do it like 70%, or uh, let's, do, yeah, let's do 70%. And as we get a little bit closer, we'll be able to see ourselves joining the arrival. Okay, I'll well, make sure it goes through. Uh, let's pull up the, uh, I can pull up the San Francisco weather here and we'll take a look at it for our arrival. In uh, San Francisco at 17.56, winds were reported 310 at 10, 8 miles visibility, a few clouds at 500, a few clouds at 200, and the temperature is 19, 2.10, and the altimeter 3000. So this could be off, this could be possible ILS, maybe visual. We'll see how we, uh, we'll see how uh, the visibility looks as we get a little bit closer into San Fran.
One sec, I got another work email it just came in. I'll be right back, guys. I'm gonna leave you here too. Okay, I just had to answer a quick work email. I'm back. Let's see how far... Uh, there's an auto gen load. You can tell by the freeze up. Let's see how far we are. We're about seven and a half minutes from top of descent. Uh, yesterday coming into, where did I fly into? In a San Jose. I got a minus 22, a minus 20 on the landing. I don't think I can ever beat that. I think that's the best all time. Coming into Orange County, it was minus 45. There's no way I can beat a minus 20. That is just impossible. And you know, I really don't care about the landing rates as long as, you know, I don't come in there and slam the plane on the ground. But if I can do a good job of landing the plane and making it really smooth, I'm happy with that.
Hey, what's up, Finney? How you doing? Hope all is well, my friend. Uh, let's see what we got here. VCAP. We're uh, two and a half minutes from top of descent. So let's get back in here. Let's go down. Let's put this on 6,000. And I gotta go over to my work computer again here in just a second. Let's turn it back on. So that's turned back on. We can go ahead and log out of there. And let's see, sign out of here. Alright, I'll wait till top of descent here and then I've got to go over and send another email again. Man, every time I'm trying to do a flight, work gets in the way. I don't know who they think they are. Some people know I'm, I'm trying to fly here? Come on, people. Once I get a top of descent, I'm going to run over to my other computer and I need to copy a gen deck to send to the crew and then I'll be right back over here. Okay, there's a message that should be top of descent, that is. So we're going to go ahead, altitude select. Vertical speed is about 2,000 feet a minute. Well, not that much. Come down a little bit more, right about there. Start bringing the throttles back a little bit. Now we're in our descent. I'll go ahead and sync up the heading mode. I'll keep an eye on that speed. I'll be right back, guys. All right, now I can come back and play. I'm good. I sent that out to the crew, letting them know they are good to go to Grand Cayman tomorrow. Customs has approved their departure. So now I can come back and play. All right, gnarly, what are we looking at? Gnarly at 22. We're at 25, that's good. We can probably slow that descent rate up a little bit here. Q 
keep an eye on that speed that we don't overspeed and hit the beer horn, as Andrew would call it, Mr. Grau Adler, call it the beer horn. There's Monterey Airport, Monterey Bay, Watsonville, up to the north here, a little bit further up this way. Can't see it because of the, uh, it's funny looking cloud right there. Looks like a diamond almost, or square. Uh, Santa Cruz, uh, you got Monterey Airport down here. Salinas is over to the right. Uh, we'll do our best to uh, match what we did in San Jose yesterday with that minus 20 on the landing. We'll see how we uh, fare here in San Francisco. See if we can keep it up. 45, Orange County, 20 in San Jose, and then let's see if we can get something good here in San Fran. The best thing about it, San Fran, of course, has got long runways, and I got a long taxi, so I can kind of float down the runway if I have to. You can see Monterey Airport just drew in right here. You can see the runway. All right, we can kind of loosen this up a little bit here so we're not coming down too fast. Not only at 22, so we'll be at that, no problem. Okay, going to look at the uh, ILS for 2.8 right. Triple one point seven and a two eighty four. Two eighty four on the course heading. set. All right, guys, we can take a look to see how far out we are. I'm probably going to say we're about 15 out, maybe. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Nah, 11 minutes out. Four minutes off. Okay, as we get below 18,000 feet, let's check the, uh, the weather one more time, see if it's updated. Uh, the altimeter is still 3,000 3, on the altimeter, so we'll set that. And with that altimeter, 3,000. Ten sixteen millibars, so we'll set that at 10, 16 millibars. There's 10, 16 there. Uh, let's come in here and set this one up, 10, 6, or 3, zero, zero, zero. Okay, that is set. I right, come down a little bit faster now and make that 2,000 foot a minute.
you start to see the Bay Area start coming up here. There is some fog there in the Bay. Start bringing that uh, throttles back here so we don't overspeed. Let's go back to the star really quick. Surfer. Uh, pick between 10 and 15. Let's make sure we don't go below that. We're good. I'm hoping it wouldn't go visual. It said there was a few clouds at 500. We'll see what happens. Okay, we're coming through 12,000. I'm going to go ahead and throw on some lights here. Right, we can go ahead and turn off our engine sink now. Three twenty nines. the heading is what it's asking for here, so... Go ahead and sync that up to 329. So yeah, it's a little uh, a little foggy here coming in the San Fran, just like the departure out of Orange County was the same. Alright, we're looking good for the approach. Alright, let's slow up the descent a little bit here. Keep an eye on the speed. No, I think we're supposed to be at 8,000. So let's uh, let's slow it up even more than that. Let's just me make sure that yeah, I only 240. Our speed's coming back to 230. After now, we'll go down to six. I don't. I don't want to get too low.
go down and start, we'll start down to 6,000 now. Unless it updates again. I think we're going to be just fine. Probably couldn't hear me because I didn't have the mic close to me. I got the airport in sight. There's an auto gen load. You can always tell the auto gen load because of the freeze up. Okay, we're set flaps to one. Speed brakes are set and armed. After Eddie, it's down to 4,000. I've got the Dumbarton, the San Mateo Bridge, and the airport. So if ATC was on, I'd let them know I've got both the San Mateo Bridge and the airport. There's 6,000 feet. We're at 220. Good speed. Let's go set up for 4,000 now. And I'm going to go heading select. I'm going to come up as VOR. And we're going to go down to 4,000 feet now. And I'm going to test the ILS out because it hasn't been working the last couple of times I flew, and I just want to make sure it works. I'm going to see what if, what happens. If, oh, there's another auto gen load. That's if I do it now. No, I knew that was going to happen. It's too soon. Okay, there's 3,000. We're going to go down. I mean, there's four. We're going to go down to 3,000 now. Seepens at three. All right. 
right, now we've captured the ILS. Airport's in sight. Flaps are coming down. Gears down. Flaps are two. It's correcting, I'm going to need to go manually here. So we'll take off the yaw damper. I'll get rid of the GTN 750, I don't need it anymore. We should be at uh, 1800 feet at the uh, San Mateo Bridge. I don't know what it was doing or where it was going here, but we're coming back on course. We still have one notch of flaps to go. That was lined up perfectly with the ILS there. Don't know what happened. Ah, uh, here comes the, uh, the few at 500. There's 1800 at the San Mateo Bridge. Check this message that I just got. As I said, we got a long runway. I've got plenty of room. <laughs> that was a little off course there. I was checking a text message. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the last notch of flaps. Try to keep it about 130, 120. We're a little high. That's totally fine. I'm going to signature, which is way down at the end. I don't see any traffic around the airport, which is good. We're coming in a little high. Speed looks good. 500. There's 500 call out. I'm gonna land long. Ninety, nah, that's all right. Let it roll out to the end here. No, you no need to use the thrust reversers.
We'll take this exit right here. All right, we are down in San Fran. Welcome everybody. Recognition lights can come off. We can keep our uh, taxi lights on as we taxi in. Anti-collision recognitions and collisions can come off. We will call this a successful trip and a successful flight. Appreciate you guys joining me on this one. Uh, we might do a, another one later on this evening. We'll see how everything turns out. But uh, thanks again for joining me on this one, and we'll see you guys on the next BW Flight Simulation flight. Everybody take care. Have a great rest of your afternoon.